So first of all, uh, what you do is uh, you need to install a library for that. You need to uh, get Cardano serialization lib. You use uh, npm to install it. Let's just check if it has been installed. Okay, so uh, we have got it here. Now what uh, we'll do is uh, we'll import a class called address. And uh, we'll be importing it from import modules. MJS and then let's just see if it is uh, working fine for now. Let's uh, just check the browser. So we are not uh, seeing any issues. So let's just uh, go back to our VS code. Now what? Uh, now we have the address class, and now what we'll do is we'll first get the normal back thirty two address. There's a, an inbuilt function called from hex, which will uh, take the hex encoded string and then we'll convert it to back 32 and we'll try to log uh, on the console uh, this back 32 address. Let's see if it works. Okay, so uh, I see I see what we are uh, doing wrong here. What you want to do is, this is an array. You need a string inside of it. And as soon as we get this address, let's just change the uh, value of the heading also. So let's change it status.innerHTML is equal to address. And then we'll append the back 32 address here. So uh, let's uh, go back to a browser window now. So you see, as soon as I uh, pressed on the button, it gives me the address. And uh, if you look at my extension here, you'll see that this is the same address as the one mentioned here. So th this was uh, pretty much it. Uh, I'll be showing you how you can do other stuff in later videos. So we'll be covering stuff like how to list all the values uh, of an NFT wallet or stuff like uh, giving you the details of the balance of an NFT wallet or making transactions uh, within the website. Thank you so much for watching.